Craven the Hunter heads to December. Karate Kid to chop next summer and latest Sony release date changes. Let's go ahead and move on to this first topic, man. This is uh, coming from Deadline. And what do they have to say? Craven the Hunter heads to December. Karate Kid to chop next summer and latest Sony release date changes. Are you looking forward to this one right here, man? This uh, this Craven the Hunter movie? Man. Uh, God, you got me tongue twisted, my brother. Uh, uh. Like I want, to, I want to say I look. I want to say I want to look forward to it. On the surface, yes. In the heart, no. All these, the reshoot, the things that have come before it. I still ain't even got the taste of Morbius out of my mouth, and I don't know if because these things was kind of recorded around the same time, around the same era. And these reshoots are making me fearful that they, they don't have any confidence in this this film. So while I want to be excited for it, I'm a little nervous about it. I can't I can't lie, but I'm hoping it's good because Craven could make a great story, especially if they're going to eventually cross him over into the Spider Verse. And if we're ever going to cross him over with the X Men and the Wakanda Nation, it would be really good. So I want this to work. But I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm not sure it's gonna work either. But Sony has pushed his reboot of the Karate Kid from December 13th this year to May 30th of 2025. This has created a bit of a backward domino effect, but it won't rob the year of theatrical releases. Backfilling Karate Kid's spot is Sony slash Marvel's Craven the Hunter, which goes from August 30th, the Labor Day weekend frame, to December 13th. The Aaron Taylor Johnson movie will have an IMAX and PLF screens. Craven the Hunter will be the only R-rated movie during the holidays, directed by J.C. Chandler. It will go up that frame against Warner Brothers' animated Lord of the Rings, The War of Rohirrim. And I, don't, I really doubt that I'm pronouncing that the, the right way. And so I'm a big fan of the Karate Kid. I don't, I, are you a fan of that? I know Larry is. I know we've talked about it on my channel briefly before, but... You know, I'm looking forward to that, but that's being pushed to May. And so I'm just kind of thinking right now, is this a strategic move for Sony Entertainment to move this to December? Because it may have less competition or do they not have faith in the film and need more time to fix it? You know, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking kind of like you, the bad taste, the Morbius in Madam Web. Um yeah. You know, it, it, the, the, you know, I just I, I the first vent the as far as the Sony animated films, not Sony animated films, but the Sony Spider-Man universe, the first Venom was okay. The second Venom Venom yeah. movie, I couldn't stand it. I I dang near hated it. Uh Morbius was bad and wow. Madam Web was probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. And so I just really don't <laughs> see them picking up the baton and and, and running you know, a, a full race with this Craven the Hunter. So I'm just kind of thinking that they don't have faith in the film and they're just trying to push it out because they're trying to make it better, probably do some reshoots behind the scene. Uh, but I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not sad. Uh, the only thing is I kind of wish that they would release it now or back in August so they can get it out of the way and we, we can just move on and forget about it because I just have no faith in this property. Uh, but I don't know, man. You think You think they... You think they're trying to be strategic and, you know, do this because, uh, uh, you know, potentially more box office or or they don't have faith in the movie? Both. Two things can be true, my brother. Two, two things can be completely true. And I believe it's both. I don't think they have faith. I think they're trying to be strategic in how they um, set the box office. They, I mean, they have put out some stinkers. Like, I completely forgot about Madam Web because it was so horrible of an experience. My brain tried to push it away. B, I never told you, I never told this to you or anybody. Madam Web is the first movie I ever walked out of. Mm, ever. Damn. That's pretty and, bad. And and, and 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 it's been some horrible movies. And that was the first one I walked out of. I didn't tell a soul because I want people <laughs> to start going seeing film and stuff like that, but the fans don't have any faith. 
Now, like you said, there's a huge following for the Karate Kid. They've done okay with the Karate Kid, but the fans don't have any faith, and I think they're trying to do two things at once. That's what I feel like they're doing, because they, they've got to do something. And if this Craven is not a reboot of the lure, I don't have no faith in it, brother. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Well, uh, I, I feel you on that, man. Um, I, I don't have any faith in it as well, and so, um, you know, we'll... we'll We'll be surprised. I want to read this real quick. I'd be surprised if anyone is looking forward to Craven, um, the Craven movie. Yeah, it's it's just, you know, the, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The trailer didn't look that bad, but at the same time, the trailers never look just awful. And so, you know, we'll we'll see. But guys, if you if you want to read it anymore, link is in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. But it looks like nobody has faith in this film over here. And so, you know, we can go ahead and. Nope and uh, move on from that right there.